Hey, you got the right account. Oh, hey. hey, hey, hey. All right, how you doing, Charlie? Do you mind if we can call you that? Yeah, absolutely. You can call me Charlie 100%. Here, let me, let me pull you up on stream here. Okay, perfect. All right, we're in business. We're in business. All right, so your name's Dylan. Is that, is that okay yeah. if I call you that? Yeah, you can call me Dylan. All right, so why don't we just take it from the top? So how did you and Caitlin meet and become friends? Right, so we became business partners first, right? So I reached out to her and uh, wanted to get her PC set up kind of right. So that's kind of like the the lore is that i'm her pc part sponsor um so we met initially two years ago and i built her computer and then just kind of hit it off uh as you know friends and then i became kind of a, a mod doing more behind the scenes work for content related stuff and just kind of had a personal relationship with kind of you know how tight knit with that kind of you know kind of stuff kind of goes uh, around with a content creator Okay, that, I think that makes a lot of sense. Now, how close would you say you guys are? Do you guys, like, talk every day? Do you guys play games together off stream? Like, what does that dynamic look like? Yeah, so, yeah, no, we do play games uh, off stream together. Um, she is, like, super into Valorant, and she's made me probably a way better player than, you know, just, be, just from our friendship and just, you know, having our banter and just, like, going back and forth on stuff like that so i just like i've gotten better at games thanks to her and our time off stream and then um we know we talk pretty much every week because we have like like obviously uh so i want to tell people that i came and visited and i'm on vacation right mm -hmm. and i was like hey let's do some streams together right so i know how to cook and i know she's into cooking streams and then that we would do like a drinking stream right so that's just kind of what happened. I was like, oh, let's make the most out of my trip because it was like super last minute and she was like super accommodating for a last minute idea. So. Now, when you, th I think all of that content idea sounds super logical, but did you yeah. discuss like you being the subject of all of the jokes? I I'm using that word real loosey goosey here because in, in my yeah. opinion, it's less jokes and more just deep cut insults. And I know you're at her house right now, so it might be a little uncomfortable to get serious about it, but. No, I mean, I can, I, I, I can, I've thought about it and just like, uh, I've been kind of shifting, you know, my, I've been in the character arc development, right? So I've been taking more initiative on being a part of her content, right? So like she does other content like dating shows and, interviews therapy you know just chatting meta right and i have recently became like a co-host a personality that's a regular on her her chat and the personality i like to give is like my nickname is the dizzler hence the rise of the riz a rizzler dizzler right? right so initially the idea was oh if i got a kiss it'd be like hype be w's you know it's, it's pushing that Dizzler narrative that I've been working on because I've been doing co-hosting, um, you know, wingmanning for guys, helping the girls that do the content we do together. And, you know, because I to, to talk to girls, you have to have some kind of competency and, like, to have the competency to teach them how to, you know, work on the Riz, right? So, like, I have to have that kind of confidence to talk to them, not you know, back down and like, oh, I'm a Discord mod, this and that. You just say, I'm a normal guy that talks to people that just happens to mod for sub Caitlin. It's just, it just, that's just what happened. Yeah, that's, and I get that. That's not really, like, okay. where I'm confused on the relationship okay. or anything. But oh. you, you already mentioned the kiss. Like, did you expect that kind of response when that donation goal was hit? Where she'd start just, like, dry heaving? Like, she, you know, trying to throw up, like, as if you were so unbelievably revolting that she had to run away rinse out her mouth fucking say a prayer or something for forgiveness because of kissing you like there's no way that was a joke you knew was coming or like this was the content you envisioned um i wasn't shocked from it because we've discussed you know like our friendship is like brother sister and then if you put your mindset on like you know she only 
kisses someone very seldomly, if at all, right? That she has to kiss someone that she says as like a little brother. And I can understand that. I wouldn't want to kiss my older sister and be, you know. Is that, okay, so is that the relationship you feel you have with her, a brother-sister? Do you, you yeah. rate, like, everything in that stream, I watched it, you were extremely sweet and complimentary of her. Like, not as a sister, but as someone who is clearly more interested than that. Do you feel it's a brother-sister relationship, or just brother, the way... Brother-sister, because I feel like, you know, when you mentioned something about, like, romantic interests, it's like, if that's the case, I wouldn't be invited to her place. I wouldn't be living here in her personal space right so that's the agreement and our our trust and friendship um to kind of keep it at that content level and just like kind of understand that you know we are here to try to entertain now did it achieve that goal kind of sort of but yeah i i do see her as like an older sister and that's just how i have to perceive it right you know do you see why that's kind of hard for me to believe? Like, you gave her a 10 out of 10 on the hotness scale. When it was asked, would you hit, you you were like, yeah, i definitely hit. She's like, I definitely wouldn't. Or, are you two dating? No, I don't claim him. Things like that. Even though it's, with the things you said, it's it feels like it's not brother-sister on your end. It feels more like she keeps you there because that's how she wants it to feel. Do you, do you see where I'm coming from? Yeah, and I, and that's just because I'm just super in tuned of like what the content we were looking to push out, right? It's just like because if I say no, nah, I wouldn't hit. Oh, she's a seven out of ten. Oh, that that just means I'm just saying it just to say it because you know if I don't mean it or like you know don't think my friend is all that, then because I got to be honest with myself at some points. Like you, it's I think it's okay to make not direct compliments but like you know if it if we're in that situation just be honest you know and it's so then are you happy with this kind of content that gets made at your expense where she's saying things like oh your hands tinier than mine which means or you were the same size hands so you have a tiny dick or i'd rather go with my ex who emotionally abused me and traumatized me than date you for six months does that is that like good content to you like is that a good relationship I would say, you know, I, I'm the guest and that's just what came out of her mouth. I can't control. But what. then just Don't. tell me, regardless of what you can control, how did that make you feel? Did that feel like content or did that feel like, oh, that didn't feel good at all to hear you say those things? You care about her. Even if it's a brother-sister dynamic that you're saying, you clearly right. care about her. And for her to say right. something like that and meaner throughout the stream... Did that feel like content, or did it feel like she was taking these extremely rude jabs at you? Um, I just didn't take it personally, because I just feel like, you know, like, it, like we, we both had to reassure each other whatever had been said, or what, like, I could have dished out more. I could have been like, I'm way better than your ex. What the fuck are you trying to say? See, right? the, now... The, and that's where I'm even more confused because you right. and Caitlin keep saying it's banter. Banter is an exchange. This was right. a one-handed fucking wallop here where all she was doing was insulting you. Throughout the stream, you made one slight joke about her and kind of got uncomfortable and backpedaled it. That's not banter. This was you being there for her to just spit on, like a trash can, basically. Right. Like that... Uh... And if, if we're going the content route, wouldn't you want to be the Dizzler who's like... No, I'm actually way above her. Or like when she's going in for the kiss, you stand up and you walk away. That would be more content brained than what happened here, which is why I feel like this doesn't really add up. Right. And, you know, I think everyone was kind of seeing me struggle with my cat allergy thing, right? So I just was already trying to hold it together and just like trying not to fuck it up even more. Already as fucked as it, right? Because, like, if you, people who know me as my personality, as the Dizzler, right, mm -hmm. there are times where, like, she'll have me come on and talk, and I'll be like, so, when are you coming over and we're going to do it? I'm like, nah, I'm good, because, like, you know, I'm talking to, you know, whatever, right? Because uh, part of 
helping her with her content, I, I have to talk to a lot of women and I joke around like, no, don't worry. Don't worry about me. You already done enough for me or whatever, right? So it's just like there's moments where like she'll throw it out there and then it's up to me to like take that content or like mold it to what I want it to be. It's just that day you is an extreme version of pushing it on the this is a discord mod this is a twitch mod he's in my fucking house and you know he's i have to kiss him that's that's that was the but why do you uh, why do you settle for that like why why be that guy you're you're not a bad looking guy you're not a weird guy too like you break the mold of like that stereotypical creepy weirdo mod who's gonna be like you know snorting panties out the wazoo or whatever why right. settle for being that to her. Hmm. It's just, I think it just comes down to what I've done beforehand to get to this point. And it's just, you know, I had recently gotten out of a five year relationship, right? And I decided to take this, you know, this trip and just kind of like use it as soul searching. And a part of that is I'm still going to have some tendencies that I left behind or carry with me, right? So I'm just the guy to take it all in and burden it. And that's just something I've been working on. But even while. the way you're describing it, burdening it, but why? Why do that? Like, you're, again, you're not a weirdo. You don't need to be a, you know, taking this burden from her saying these extremely disrespectful things to your face and having her chat dogpile you for being mod in my house, red alert. Oh my God, I have to kiss this guy. You're not a 6 out of 10, I would have said that. Like, why Why take that? You don't... That's not a healthy relationship. Like, I don't know right. how she treats you off stream. If she's extremely sweet to you when the cameras aren't on, and then she treats you like this when the cameras are on, I mean, she's fake. And she is embarrassed of you. And that's, again, not healthy. I talked about this right before you joined. It's kind of like... I feel like a lot of people can relate to this. Kids. They'll have, like, a friend group, and there's usually, like, someone in that friend group that is just a punching bag. It's not really a friend... And that person doesn't feel like they really belong there, but they also don't want to leave because it's still that group. So they just take it, and it's not good. It doesn't feel good. And that's what all of this seemed like to me. It doesn't seem content brain, because if it was all like, the Dizzler's marching through, we better hide your bitch, the sodden panties gonna be flying out the door, Dizzler's here, I feel like you would have, you would have turned down the kiss. You would have said, actually, you're a 6 out of 10. That would have been you laying into that persona. And if she was playing along with it for content, she'd be like, oh no, he's not going to fuck me, but when we go to this club, damn, it, the, it's about to get wild out there. It's going to pop. But none of that happened. It felt more like she used you to just insult perpetually, to bring you down, to put up this, I don't want to use the word facade because I don't know her, but to put up this whole barrier like, the, this guy doesn't have a chance, let's laugh at him. And that's just, that's not good. Like, that's, no one deserves that kind of treatment. Right. And I, I'm going to tell you how it's like, a, it's a formula, right? This is what it boils down to in her personality, right? So the reason why I agreed to do some of the things we, that happened is because the person, I separate the person from the streamer, the content creator from the person. I am friends with the person and whatever it is like for example right it could have been a super hot guy and he could have had some kind of ick like play i don't know rocket league or he plays league of legends but he's like amazing everything she's like you you play league of legends like i don't know if this will work uh or you know just like make witty comments about something she might not like just because it's contrary it is you know, contra not controversial, but it can be. It's opposing, right? So for for it could have been any it could have been anybody, right? She might and it just happened to be me. It's not the first time she's kissed somebody on stream, right? Or like do content and it's controversial. So it just happened to be my turn. And, you know, I kinda understand the the things and the not the science, but like just understand I have to set my feelings aside and just understand if I'm going to do content that that is what it strictly is. It doesn't have, but it doesn't have to be that way. But right. you mentioned something that I want to point out. I went okay. through and watched how she interacts with other friends of hers in this space, like Hassan and everyone like that. 
why doesn't she treat them the same way she treated you? What, what, what's the deal with that then? How come she's able to do other content with other guys that aren't her perpetually insulting them the entire time, but okay. you, the only content she does with you is to make you the punching bag. Why? Okay, so I mean, for, I mean, like, she's not, like, for Hassan example, right? She went over and just kind of say, the reality was, like, we just did a stream together. He was a nice guy. You're um, a nice guy. I, yeah, but but she was also honestly saying, like, I'm not super into that kind of content of political, right? But I appreciate, she appreciated the offer, right? So she will be real and say, separate herself for a moment and just say, this is what happened yada 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 right this is not like i don't know it's just it's it's hard to kind of like you know it's just like when you're on someone's team right and you don't want to mess up that dynamic right you're understanding that we're all playing parts on a team right and yeah my role on that team is kind of fucked up but some people are built that kind of way to be like put that stress on my shoulders and just like, you know, because they care about people. And that's just this, that's just how I felt and it's, going into it. And it's one sided. Do you, th do you think she cares about you? Yeah, genuinely. Like when I went through my breakup, she, uh, set me up on to have a dating show. Like that's using you for it. content again, though. That's, that's not but, looking out for you. That's still using you for content. And this is at your weakest moment. You're most vulnerable. You've just gone through a traumatic experience and she's immediately turning you into content. You, I could have, I could, I could have told her no. I could have said, let yeah, me wait. But you, it, it, it's not your fault. I'm not putting any blame on your shoulders. Like it's an opportunity. You're, you're low right now because of this breakup. And now you have this girl who's like, hey, I've got a bunch of girls I can put you with if you do it on my stream. It's immediately turning you into content. That makes me feel even worse about this relationship because after you've gone through something, she immediately uses you for content. Okay. I mean, but to be fair, I mean, like, if she's just using me, why am I staying at her place? Why don't I just get an Airbnb because or a, ho a hotel? It, or it, it adds to the content having you there and keeping you around to constantly belittle and make it clear to her community like, hey, this guy doesn't have a chance, let's keep joking about it. It's all part of that same content cycle. Like you are playing this role, which you have talked about, taking this burden, which you don't need to do. You're above that. And right. she is using this because it is part of the joke. Like she is just farming this whole stigma of being a Twitch mod. He's not gonna ever fuck me, but he can stay here and we're going to get content out of it by any means necessary. Here's an hour and 25 minutes of me shooting down everything he wants to do, everything he says, every advance, and make it clear I am disgusted by his presence. Now, I, if it's a role you want to play, I'm not going to tell you you're a bad guy for it. I just want you to realize it's not healthy. This isn't a real friendship dynamic at all. Again, if she's like really sweet to you off stream and treats you like this publicly, then she is two-faced and is not actually a friend to you. And what you just said about how when you went through a very bad breakup, she immediately put you on a dating show, makes me feel like she is constantly just using you as this source for content to laugh at and have her chat laugh at. Because I haven't seen her interact with anybody else this way. I watched her interact with other people in the community. I've seen her do this to a couple other guys on her stream, but that's the same role that they play that you do where she just belittles them and insults them, which is still a bad thing, but you get it much worse because you are someone that genuinely seems to care about her. And I think that is so fucked up. You keep saying that it's just banter and jokes, but it's one-sided. She is the only one doing that. I, 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 again, in that stream, you said one thing and it made you uncomfortable. It is sad. That is the only point I'm making. You, again, are not a bad looking guy. You are not in bad shape. You are not creepy. You are not weird. You don't have to play this role for her. You don't have to be stuck being the weirdo Twitch mod who grosses her out so much she goes and fucking hawks in the bathroom and yaks, right? It's it's ridiculous. It's just mean for the sake of being mean. And if it's an... It, I know she claimed that it's all like an act and all that. It's the worst act of all time. Like, she is playing the bully... As Cinna said, there is no way she should expect people to think of her as anything more than a bully. Because that's all she's showing. And you are the only one that gets it this bad. I mean, we're both getting it 
in some shape or form, right? Because we both agreed to have this kind of content idea put out there. I agree to it. And there are times where I say I will be that role because, you know, I want to get more into that content does it, space. I want. Does it make you happy when she is saying these things to your face? When she is saying you're not good looking, you're not getting laid, I will never hit, I don't claim this, all of those things. Does it make you happy? I mean, obviously, it's not going to make anybody happy if you hear that kind of stuff, right? But at the same time, you know, it's just like... If you're real with yourself and you understand where you are or where I am, I understand where I am at right now in my life and like where I want things to go is just you. I have to set my emotions aside when I hear things like that. And that's, I'm just been used to that kind of stuff. That's just what kind of shit I decide to deal with. Right. And just on the, you know, like what's the difference from like, you know, like, I guess the difference of like, um, for like content, right? Like me and you, right? I'm trying to put that out there that, hey, I'm a grown man. I just, I, I take responsibility for, you know, understanding what I was going to sign up for, right? So well, we're, we're both playing two sides of the coin here right now, right? We're both getting, there's content from one side and you're getting content from this as well. Well, it's so. very different though. Like, let, we keep talking about content again at the very beginning your the content you pitched is different than the content that came out you pitched doing cooking or drinking all that the, that wasn't the content the content was her making fun of you that doesn't sound like what you wanted to do i don't oh, think you okay. told her i want you to insult the fuck out of me for over an hour like that's that's not the content that i think you wanted to sign up for i think that is the content that was sprung upon you and you feel as though you have to take it because you keep saying that it's your decision. You can bear the burden. It, it, you're an adult. You can make your own decisions, which of course you can, but why? You just said it doesn't make you happy when she says those things. So what's the point? You don't need that to have a career. And I don't think you should want that to be your legacy or career either. Like no. uh, being Caitlin's punching bag. I'm in school to be a doctor. So that's why I don't, you know, have that as like the craziest thing and on my mind right now but um you know i i wanted to talk to people and just understand that when you know when you have a love and, it, and that's probably that's just me in my fucked up ways right saying the content she does is entertaining enough for me to support it and be a part of a cast of people that agree and that the, there's some benefits even if it does not paint me out in the most i'm the giga chad i'm the winner out of the situation which you know i could have done a better job defending myself that's where i messed up in my character that's where i messed up in my judgment and didn't really think of the consequences of said things so i take responsibility of that right because i in like right now like i, I could i'm telling you how i really genuinely feel like you know yeah, and, and, it, and you've told me that you don't like the way it makes you feel do you think a friend would keep pushing that role on you knowing it doesn't make you feel good do you think I a just, good friend would do that i think friends who like because i I've, I've just had tough love from people in my life in general right and it's just like you know i i come to i wouldn't say nurture but like just kind of understand that you know not everyone's gonna communicate the way that you think everyone deserves, right? And it, you know, like if I was, a, a, you know, a scared Discord mod that a lot of people think or seeing, right? That I, why would I come and talk and and like, you know, not instead of just in, in, enjoying seed in the pity, right? It's... I rather, I rather just be honest and just say how. I feel because like you know i've already been in the eye of the public i at least want to say what i want to say no it, again i like i said you are definitely not what most people picture when they think of a twitch mod but this is not a good dynamic you found yourself in here and i, I it's i'm just trying to understand why and hoping that you can recognize that the way you're being treated is really fucked up you, even during this, just now, you started taking blame 
You've done nothing wrong. You said you could have defended yourself better or this and that. You you didn't do anything wrong. You were actually just taking bullets like you're protecting the president for her. Again, this was all her idea. Your content you pitched was cooking and hanging out and drinking. The content became, let me insult you. And yet, well, you're the one apologizing. Because the content that I pitched is something, the formula. I'm just pitching the formula. The recipe, we already have a set in place that hasn't blown up out of this proportion. You know, so there's, it's just like, yeah, if you don't like this kind of content, don't watch it, right? Don't, you know, but don't send, you know, death threats and all this kind of stuff. Oh, of course, yeah. no one supports that. Absolutely. Yeah. That's not, and I, I feel bad. And, you know, there's, you know, crazy stuff going on behind the scenes. And I, you know, we're trying to get through that. So it's, um, I just want to say that, you know, do whatever makes you happy but like just understand that the that you know there's always more than what there you know appears to be like so you know i joke about having a degrading cape right because i go through kind of this shit like this and i kind of own up to that and i'm like yeah maybe i do or you know whatever right see so it, it, and like i said if you would come out here and said you know what I actually just have a humiliation fetish. I enjoy being insulted like this. I'd be like, hey, bygones be bygones, Godspeed, brother. But you've already said multiple times, it's a burden. It doesn't make you feel good. It wouldn't make anybody feel good. It doesn't make you happy to hear her say those things. So then why stay and keep letting her do that? Like, I know you view her as a friend, but it doesn't seem she views you that way. She wouldn't keep pushing this upon you. If she viewed you as someone that she actually respects. Um, I don't know. We've just reassured each other as friends that we appreciate what we've done each other work at like work wise, like for the amount of work I've put in for her and just understand that. Okay. Cause I've asked, I was like, do you actually appreciate what I do and help out? And she's like, yes, 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 yes. And yes, I've been reassured numerous times that, what I volunteer to do is appreciated. And you said volunteer. Do you get paid for the work you do? Does she pay you? Like you, you, you obviously I, put yourself on this team. Do you get compensated for all the work that you've done to help grow her brand by being this role? Um, I just get you know the the benefits of you know for like my street my small streaming career and the revenue that comes from my business that I uh, am solely you know the the owner of and so she's helped promote my business in a way and help me connect to bigger and better things so you know uh me at bubble tea builds right i build pcs for streamers that you know i want to support and help grow because she has that kind of same mindset too to help get smaller people and get them built the way up you know put them on a platform and Does showcase she... their personalities. So that's another side of the content that I help out with is, you know, we both want to help out streamers and get them some better exposure. Right? Being paid in exposure is a totally different can of worms, but I guess just to stay in I here mean, for just a minute does she okay. does she give you on her platform does she give you the time of day to talk about all the cool things you're doing? Because she certainly hasn't so far from what I've been watching. I didn't know you even really streamed. I didn't know you had a career outside of being a Twitch mod for her that she roasts. I didn't know that. Does, does she um, actively promote you at all? Yeah, so when I appear on as my character or, like, when I talk about, like, when I'm doing other things, like, I'm dating other girls, right? And I'm just, like, you know, someone's like, oh, I'm a, a business owner. I'm in school to be a dentist. I That's part. And so she lets me showcase a side of me that no one would usually see because the mod connotation, right? So, you know, that's the, the, the arc that I've been, been working towards in, in this small aspect of my streaming career. So that's just what people who do watch me know that I have some confidence backed up in that, in there somewhere, not, you know, so it's just like that day. I just, I had a lot going on personally. Um, that I can't really share and then just on top of being out, you know, allergic is just I'm just like I just want to get through this and just like whatever happens happens, right? 
So like if I had the chance to do it over again, it would look different. It would have been the way that, you know, whatever. But at the same time, I uh, is like my friendship with her it, it kind of outweighs my my wants and needs of like streaming content business all that because i care about her as a person and she does for me as well because if i wasn't up for it we wouldn't have done it she was said all right that's cool we don't have to do it at all because we've talked about it of not doing it because of things right so promise that because i had a lot going on personally before i even agreed and signed up to do that stream or like streams beforehand right so you know that's the relationship that I've built with her. And that's, I, I want people to understand that this is not like a one-sided thing. But people are going to perceive it however they want to perceive it. Yeah. I, again, at the end of the day, the way you describe this role that she puts you in is not a role that makes you happy, though. Like, I understand that you view each other as friends. Can you give me... The example you gave of like how she cares about you as a person immediately rubbed me the wrong way about you go through a breakup and she puts you on her stream for dating that's milking you for content. Is there anything else she's done to show I'll... that she cares about you? Okay. Well, to be fair, uh, there was a long period of time where I didn't come on, like years worth of time where I didn't want to come on for content. So it's I volunteer. I say, hey, I'm ready to do this. This is what dylan wants to do this is what dr dilly wants to do right so she's just given me a platform to showcase what i want to showcase to people and um and, and she's done that for other content creators as well and they've gone off and done great things and I, I wish i could shout them out but just know that i've been i've been working with some of these people and just know that i've been very grateful very happy i'm very happy to be in the position i am in right now and just see people grow and for me this is going to be a huge moment for me to understand where i'm at and growth wise and um and i just wanted to know like yeah that's just i, I am passionate about this side of things like yeah it looked like i was miserable yeah it, it's just it's just what happens sometimes you know you you're, you when you're in your weakest it pours right and i I hope to understand that like when I got done with that, I was okay. I was great. I was happy. I was ready to go out, have fun, and be a normal person again. And, and I was a normal person then. So it's just the consistent, you know, it's just like that narrative out there that, ah, uh, am I here for, did I really fuck up and do this? It's just, no. It's just I didn't force myself. I agree that I wanted, this is what I wanted, because I told her, let's do it. She didn't necessarily was like, if you don't want to do it, right. So again, you didn't tell her to come on and insult you though. It's a different thing. But regardless, that's that's just that's just our that's just what the content I kind of I already love to know. It's just like it's normal for me to hear that kind of stuff. It, and it yeah. and that's that that's breaks the problem, my right. That breaks yeah. my heart to hear. What? Why are you the one that gets it the worst then? You you're so intertwined with her brand and growing it. Why do you get her ire the worst? Even if it's just for content, why does she pick you to put down more than anybody else I have ever seen her interact with? I mean, it's just I've seen different sides of it, and I just thought what she said isn't new content. This this it's been rewashed jokes that, that that have been discussed before like it's just like it is not something new to me right like it, it's, it's if you already kind of come to know what to expect then you kind of understand that, that that's what my or may not happen right if it does it does it doesn't it doesn't right so for me it's just like we have this formula this is how we do things this is how we operate this is how the content machine we had put out there and then that's just what was seen by the general public. So, okay, well, it, I, it's just it is what it is at this point. All right, I, we don't have to keep going around in circles here. I guess just one last thing that I want to know: yeah. Do you think she did anything wrong? Hmm. Let's see. 
That's a, it's a, it's a tough question to answer because obviously I want to stand by my friend, right? So, I mean, it's tough because it, it's it, the truth. Like, I would, I would have to say, I would say no because I'm not forcing myself to say no. It's just because if I didn't really want to do it, I wouldn't have done it. And if I was really, really, like, not invested into the process and, like, what we've been doing, I I would have not never came here to begin with. Because I knew, because most people were, like, because I, 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 I kind of understand bullshit and just understand that if I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. Or, like, if I if I don't want, like, be, be put in a very uncomfortable situation, I won't, I won't do it. Because, like... If I, like, I wouldn't talk to you if I was not okay with it. So, yeah. I would have to say no and just understand that. So, you think, ev like you think everything she said to you was just okay, fine content, even though it hurt you, which you said, you still think that that's totally okay for a friend to do in front of everyone in your community and tell all your embarrassing moments and insult you for everything she believes is weak about you? That's that's the green light. I agree to it. But you did again the the content. She had, you played, she asked if it was okay and I said yes. She asked if it was okay to say that I would rather be emotionally abused and traumatized by my ex than date you. She ran that she ran that pre-wash joke by you? No, but I mean I just, you know, obviously it's like it's a joke. I mean, is it a good joke? No, but I understand that if you're going to try to like you're a comedian, right? Like not all their jokes are going to land a stick. If you're shooting, you know, we're doing what an 1800 view quick stream with no real plan behind it. It's just the plan was to insult you. It seems that that was the whole plan for the entire time from then till she was drunk enough to kiss you from the donation goal. And then to the time you went to the club. I, okay. It's that just that seems like a plan that I don't think you probably envisioned for how that stream would go. Yeah, I mean, it's just like with the stream, we we were already winging like just from the jump. And it's just like, yeah, we planned some things like, hey, let's talk about how I would talk to a girl at the club, or you know, I think you missed the part where, like we're so comfortable with each other that I would agree for her to take a shot out of my belly button or something stupid like that, right? So it's just like I already was signing up for something that could be really chaotic and just live in that kind of chaos. And, you know, it's just, yeah, for someone who can't handle something like that, that will ruin them. Yeah, I'm just not going to let it ruin me. Right. And I hope you understand that, Charlie. I'll be honest, I don't. Uh, being fully transparent, I don't get why you put yourself in this position. You're much better than this. I don't think you have to be this platoon that she spits in and lets her community do the same. I don't know why you let her treat you that way publicly. It doesn't seem like a healthy friendship, the way she milks you for content, even after you got out of a five-year relationship that clearly still did have a big effect on you at the time. I don't see this as a good friendship, but I'm I'm not your dad. I'm not your dad. My voice is cracking, but like I actually am just kind of sad to hear this perspective because it it sucks like being fully honest. You don't deserve to be treated that way. No one does. But if it's the role that you're happy with, if you believe that the exposure she pays you in is worth your business guidance and all of that and you like to keep playing the jester for her to joke about and laugh at for you know however long then all power to you but yeah i, I i'm not gonna lie and say i get it because i i really do not it just seems very toxic and it seems like she has got you completely hooked on a fantasy i don't believe she is a good friend to you from everything and, you told me i mean that's just for me it's to deal with and process it, because I, I get that yeah that it is that is your that is your cross to bear as they say i just right. wanted to try and understand and i'm walking away with even less of an understanding if i'm being honest and it's not your fault i i you 
took blame for how this stream went when you've done nothing wrong. And it's just, a li it's just sad, is all. And I just, I'd like to, I'd like better for you and anyone else in your position. I don't know. I just know that there is, as hard as that sounds, that there is something positive to take from this, right? Um, for those who are interested, and obviously, you know, with streaming and content, there's like it just goes hand in hand. Like, what are you okay with, or where people are okay with to like do? And it's just I just happen to be on that side that's a little bit not. I don't know. I, I say risque. That's just how I want to describe it. And but I, I appreciate the time for you to come talk to me and just try yeah, to understand. Man. And you know, uh, it's, it's 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 been a lot, but I, I you know I just uh, I appreciate it. You know, and I hope I wish you well as as everything. Yeah, you as well, man. I I hope whatever you decide to do i hope the doctor and all of that works out well and the the brands you're building i'm wishing you the best of luck with it brother thank you man yeah have a great rest of your night man appreciate the time well that was that was an interesting conversation he's such a he's just such a seemingly nice guy whoops wrong one i don't know again i'm not his dad I wanted to understand. I I still don't, but that's that's his thing, not mine. <laughs>